my dear friends all over the world good friday is celebrated as the memory of jesus dying on the cross for the salvation of the humanity it is on this friday jesus brought life and salvation for all that's why that friday is known as good friday for all of us this is the intention of god that we all should know him that he has created us in his goodness and image and he is love as first john chapter 4 verse 8 says and we who are created in his image will become the persons of love that was the dream of god but when god created man and god gave him the freedom and he went away from god we read in the book of genesis chapter 3 verse 7 man can fall in sin but the love of god never changes that's what we read in romans 11:29 the love and call up god never changes in spite of the changing character of man so god comes down in search of man man understands the consequence of his sin he is hiding himself he feels naked but he doesn't come back to god god never punishes him rather allows his life giving him chances to return back to him god comes to cain and tells him why do you want to kill your brother the human nature if it is not empowered by the divine love can become animal nature god said sin is sleeping at your door and satan who wants to destroy you is using your sin and taking you away from god and the heart of god is grieved like the parents who grieve when their children are dead when their children are going going through pain and suffering the same way when we fall in sin when we lose what god has kept for us and when we are thrown away to the consequence of sin sickness pain misery hurting each other blaming each other abusing the heart of god begins to cry that's why he sent the prophets kings priests one after another but man still could not return to god that's why in the fullness of time as john 3:16 says God so loved the world that he gave his only son for this reason that not a single human being should perish in their sin rather they should understand the love of God and they should understand the way God has opened for us I was told there was a chicken to us taking care of its chicks suddenly a snake who saw that little chick came to eat it seeing that the mother chicken it raised its wings and called the younger ones and all of them were under its wings the snake was so furious it was trying to catch the small ones so the mother chicken were pushing pushing back the children and it didn't allow the snake to touch them the snake was so angry and it hit the mother chicken and the people who heard the sound of the chicken they came and killed the snake but alas the mother chicken died to save the chicks yes we all are in danger and the enemy wants to swallow us up because of the wages of sin is death we have sinned and we should enjoy the consequence of sin 
that is death. That's what Satan is coming after us. But Jesus is coming in between. Though we have fallen in sin and we have the consequence of sin that is death, sickness, brokenness, Jesus says, here is the middle way. I lay down my life like the mother chicken. Lay down its life. Jesus died on the cross. Through his blood, all our sins are forgiven. Like the little chicks, they were trying to escape under the wings of the mother. It had no power over the snake. But the only support was the wings of the mother. The same way, though we have fallen in sin, the only protection we have is the blood of Jesus. If we go to the cross and repent for our sins, as 1 John 1, 7 says, the blood of Jesus forgives us and makes us once again normal human being. And having forgiven our sins, if we look at the cross, we get another second message which we read in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18 onwards. Jesus has reconciled the humanity with the Father. Now having experienced that, we should help one another to reconcile with each other and to return to the Father. Seeing the cross, the sacrifice and love of Jesus, we should become loving beings, sacrificial beings and willing to die we should be a mother, mother chicken to protect the younger ones in the world. May this Good Friday on which we celebrate the death of Jesus, may we enjoy the salvation that he has brought to us. May God give us the heart of repentance to know ourselves, who am I? To know what is the power of sin in my life? To know why many blocks in my life. On the other hand, there is a solution in Jesus. Because of his love, because he wants to make me a loving being, knowing all that of my life, let me not only receive his forgiveness, but show the same love with whom I live, making this world a place of love and sacrifice. May the Lord bless all of you on this great day. And may Jesus' blood protect you, protect your family, protect all that you do. May the Lord Jesus on the cross make you a person of love, a person of sacrifice, a person of endurance, a person of patience with one another. Your patience with your wife, your husband, your love for those who don't deserve love will make you another Christ. Jesus died and he is living today in you and you should continue that mission of Jesus. That is the message of Good Friday. God bless you all. My dear friends, Sangamam Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.